Africa, India, and, and they want to bring that here. So back in Revelation 13 and 17, because the question, how could they try to force the saints to sin Fight through finances? Those that are weak and give up, read verse 17 again. And that no man might buy or sell, uh -huh. save he that had the mark. You had to be involved in their sin. If they see brothers teaching on the street, find them. Go into their bank account, take money up. Boop, boop, boop. That's what, that's what they do. Now you have no food. This, they try to bend us to make us do what they want. That's what the Bible's prophesying about. Go ahead. Good. Good and terrible. Who was it? Tesco. To Africa, India, and anyone. All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha HaKodesh. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that have taught us this truth that are constantly willing well through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. I want to say Shalom to the, the brethren that are out there pushing his word wholeheartedly and in truth and sincerity. That are not wavering to the left nor to the right, but constantly staying on that straight and narrow fighting for your crowns in these last days that we are truly living in. Shalom to the few sisters, the wives that are out there. Shalom also to the Israelite foreigners, those that may look like the other nations, but their seed line goes back into our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Shalom to you as well. Okay, I'm the brother Iraq coming back with another let's to the Lord will edify and feed the lambs of the Lord. Okay, and it's kind of hard to keep the bishop's name out of your mouth. I when you know clearly, as you can see, he's breaking down Revelations 13 16 on down wrong again. Okay, okay, and um, you know, you can only keep the charades up for so long. You know, one thing about telling the lie is that you got to remember the lie and not only do you have to remember the lie you have to constantly keep telling more lies on t on top of that lie to compound the last lie you told okay and pretty much we in a time where all things is being revealed Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai all right, is revealing all things concerning what prophecy, okay? Because the mark of the beast, the C-H-I-P, is one of those major pieces of prophecy, okay? All right, and there's so much refutable evidence that you can't deny that that tiny rice grain implantable device is in fact the M-A-R-K that is spoken of in the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter, okay? And you have so many individuals that have spoken of the Karagma, all right? Terry Cooks, the actual inventor, creator of the M-A-R-K, all right? John that was sent to the salt mine on the island of Patmos who was given the revelation from Yahweh to write down what we now read today concerning things that must come to pass shortly so When you tell a lie, okay, you got to keep that lie going. And pretty much, you probably have the what ifs. That's the actual mark because of the way things is going in the society. You probably have those questions being raised in their congregation's mind. Those that may be potential members of the elect are probably asking questions. What if they're right? Bishop, what if it is? So you got to constantly 
convince and remix the scriptures in order to what deceive the hearts of the simple. Okay. And um you know it's funny because I U I C they harp on uh the law, the law, the law, right? Now we know that the law is not gonna save us, but they forget about simple scriptures concerning the law or concerning a law, a commandment in the scriptures. All right. Matter of fact, let me um start with that real fast. Okay, let's go over here to the book of um before I get that picture. Let's go over here to the book of Colossians, the third chapter, okay? Put my highlights. <clears throat> this is Colossians chapter 3, verse 8. It says, but now ye also put off these things, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication out of your mouth. Lie not one to another seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds this indeed is an actual commandment right? because lying to one another is actually filthy communication coming out of our mouth alright and these are things that Yahweh Bashim Abishai hates right? a person that is a liar okay and you know, you know Bishop Nathaniel who has been around a whole lot longer than a lot of us, you know, he knows better, and he he's not a, a dummy. Right? Bishop Nathaniel is not a dummy, okay? Right? He knows exactly what he's doing when he's, you know, feeding you with... Uh, corrupt doctrine, all right, because what's coming out of his mouth is a corrupt doctrine, okay, ain't no way Revelation 13 or Revelation 17 um, are precepts to each other, okay, they don't even go together, all right, but IUIC, again, they harp on the law, the law, the law, and they break these simple laws, all right, Let's go over here to Leviticus 19 and 11. It says, Ye shall not steal, neither deal falsely, neither lie one to another. Okay? We're not supposed to lie to one another. But clearly, that 501c3, huh, being worth 7.5, you know, it's June. You know, all the ad homonyms. Ain't no microchip. Bummer light camps. You know, everything's starting to make sense. Why these things are being said. Why this person is acting the way they're acting. Okay? And the can will only get kicked down the road for so long until the Lord makes it evident. All right? Which I hope I should shy will. That's why, you know, I see why the apostle to all said, Keep that same energy, you know, when they do open up those chipping stations, okay? And you're starting to see Israelites, those that so-called believe on Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, I are actually in those lines that did give up, I that did decide to run down to Egypt for help. Okay, that, that truly didn't have faith, that truly didn't believe on Yahweh by Shema Vashai, and, and that's when the sin would be um, placed upon them, all right? Because I, a sin is a transgression of the law, all right, or breaking the commandments, all right? And it's a commandment that what we are not supposed to take that mark, okay? That's a commandment, meaning that if you take it, there will be a penalty for taking it, all right? And that penalty is death, death by pain, okay? That's what that penalty is, all right? Revelations 14 and 9, we all know, 
You know, I'm not even going to go to um, Revelation 13 or Revelation 17 to break them down because they already been broken down. If you don't know, type in GMS, uh, break down whatever chapter, and you're going to have a brother that's going to be right there that that will feed you with the, with the correct understanding, you know? But let's go over here to Zechariah the 8th chapter. Okay, in the 16th verse it says, These are the things that ye shall do. Speak ye every man the truth to his neighbor. All right, because that's what we command to do. Give the truth to our neighbor. All right, you truly love Yahweh by Shema What does the scripture say? Yahweh Shai told Peter, If you love me, what? Feed my sheep. Okay, if you love me, feed my sheep. And he has Peter three times. Okay. If you truly love Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, you're going to speak the truth to your neighbor. All right? You're not going to lie, whatever position you're in, whether it's a high position or a low position. Okay? You're going to rightfully divide the words of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai and truly sincere. You're going to give them warning from me. All right? As the Lord fed you with this truth, you're going to give your people the warning, okay, of what not to do. All right? Especially in these times, okay, and who to fear, right? It says, execute judgment of the truth and peace in your gates and let none of you imagine evil in your hearts against his neighbor and love no false oath for all these are things that I hate, saith the Lord. All right. So, you know, there's a lot of things that have been done and said over the years in a little short time that I've, I've been around and I've seen that, you know, they're doing which is hateful in the eyes of the owl by Shema Rashad, okay? All right? You know, and I'm not saying this out of emotions. I'm saying this is because actions speak louder than words, you know? All right? Make fun of the names. They're pushing the incorrect doctrine, okay? These things are not okay. They're just not okay. All right. That's why you only can keep the charades of for only so long. Okay. Until all things is what exposed. All right. Um, let's get this little pitch that I got right here. What's the actual quote? Okay. It says, this quote is from Meyer Lansky. Lansky. It says, don't tell, I'm sorry, don't lie. Tell one lie, then you got to tell another. Tell another lie to compound on the first. All right? And that's of a truth. You know, that's of a truth. All right? You lie once, you got to lie again. And you got to remember that lie. Then you got to keep the lie going. All right, and eventually you lie so much. It becomes a perception of reality, all right? And then you slip up in your lie because you forgot the original first lie, you know? So that's why it's better just to tell the truth off the jump, you know? But some people have alternative motives, even calling themselves being in the truth, you know? So-called in the truth, so-called serving the Heavenly Father and the Son, all right? Some serve not the Lord, but they own belly. And that's what the scripture says. Some serve not the Lord, but they own belly. Okay? And these, all these things will be brought to light, especially in the end. Okay? Um, but let's go over here. As I quoted, John chapter 21, verse 15. So when they had done, Yahweh shall accept to Simon Peter, Simon, Son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He said unto him, Yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. He said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yeah, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. He said unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Love is thou me? And he said unto him, 
Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh Shai said unto him, feed my sheep, okay? Because one thing about sheep, sheep are docile, okay? Simple creatures, all right? And the sheep can be led astray. That's why you have what is known as shepherds, but then you also got what is known as hirelings, hirelings who are who are meant to lead the sheep astray to have them led as a flock to the slaughter. Okay, all right. So you're gonna have those that are shepherds that are gonna lead the sheep, all right, back to Yahweh by Shem and you're gonna have those that are gonna lead the sheep. I right, down the path of destruction. I right, for their pernicious ways. I right, their destructive ways. I right, that's just the balance of this truth. I right, knowing this truth, because you gotta have what the good and you gotta have the evil. You see, some the Lord wants, some the Lord don't want. But who the Lord does want, I right, they will wisen up. Okay. All right? And most of these men that are speaking perverse things, all right? there's a lot of blood upon their hands. Isaiah chapter 59 verse 3. For your hands are defiled with blood, and your fingers with iniquity. Your lips have spoken lies. Your tongues have muttered perverseness. All right? And why is their hands full of blood? Okay. Let's go over here to the book of Ezekiel. The third chapter and the seventeenth verse, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore hear the words at my mouth and give them warning for me. When I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked ways, to save his life, the same wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but his blood will I require at thine hand. You see, that's why their hands is full of men's blood, okay? Because we are supposed to warn, not give false instructions, right? It says, yet if thou warn the wicked and he turn not from his wickedness, nor from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul, okay? Again, when a righteous man doth turn, from his righteousness and commit iniquity and I lay a stumbling by reform, he shall die because thou hast not given him warning. He shall die in his sin and his righteousness, which he had half done shall not be remembered, but his blood will I require at thine hand. Okay. Nevertheless, if thou warn the righteous man that the righteous sin not, and he doeth not sin, he shall surely live because he is warned. Also, thou hast delivered thy soul. Okay. <clears throat> so these are commandments. All right, that the Lord said, all right, that we are supposed to what follow. Okay. All right, these words, this truth is very precious. You know. But again, you got a uh, wolf in sheep's clothing. Uh, you got men that's that have a manipulative mouth piece on them, you know? Because, man, somebody that's unlearned, you would think that Revelation 17 and Revelation 13 are actually intertwined, that they're really connected when they don't even make sense going together, right? When you actually have an understanding because why you search all things, you know? But uh, Jeremiah 14 and 14, it says, Then the Lord said unto me, The prophets prophesy lies in my name. I sent them not. Neither have I commanded them, neither spake unto them. They prophesy unto you a false vision. Right? Because that's a false vision. If you're saying that, you know, the, the MOTB or the Mark of the Beast is dealing with sin, you know, because I mean, before he said what it is now, he used to say it was a big nation, small nation, corporation, things of that nature. All right, but, but he changed it. 
okay all right these these are false visions okay this, this is not what uh the lord gave to john on the island of pamela it's not what john saw john saw an actual device that it was going to put in your your right hand or your forehead okay and now with everything coming to pass you got uh, uh, black rock i think that's what that's called the company that's out in uh, salt lake city utah their brain implanted uh, their people that they're go undergoing the experiments on. You got Elon Musk with Merrill Link. You got uh, Wallet Moore. You got um, Singapore. You got a couple European countries that are actually, you know, that done away with cash. They don't even use cash. Majority of the population don't even use cash. Everything is all digital. Right? So, again, the evidence is there. Right? It's just only a matter of time till they do it in America. When they do it in America, then then what? That's the a, that's a question. Then what? You know? So you got an answer for that. Remember, every idle word that man shall speak, he got an answer, give account on the day of judgment, you know? You're going to have to answer for these things. It says, verse 15, matter of fact, I'm keep reading, I'm sorry. And divinations and, and a thing of not, and the deceit of their heart. It says, therefore, does it the Lord concerning the prophets that prophesy in my name, and I send them not. Yet they say, sword and famine shall not be in the land, in his land, by sword and famine shall those prophets be consumed, you know, so... You know, it was said out of Nate's mouth. You had that one pastor. I believe he passed away. You know, or he was being interviewed by the man. He's a Benjamite man, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And um, he was asked about the time of Jacob's trouble. Will there be a time of Jacob's trouble, a time like never before? I, out of out of Nate's mouth. You know, pretty much he said no. You know, so these things that are being said, I they're going to come back around full circle. And when they're in full effect, going to have to answer. You know, that's why it's best to just tell the truth. Right? It's best to tell the truth. Okay, and I, and, 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 and keep it pure all right because the truth is undefiled all right there's nothing corrupted about telling the truth all right whether somebody likes it or not you know that's what we commanded to do you know so um you know pretty much i'm gonna leave it at that you know brothers pretty much brothers pretty much tackle it on you know the beautiful lessons on it um put their spirit into it so it's just been on my spirit just to say, you know, we ain't supposed to lie to one another. All right? If you believe in Yahweh Bashim and Shai and and uh, you're able to teach this word, I right? teach it correctly and teach it sincerely, I right? to the best of your ability, you know, because we all gonna have to give account on the day of judgment for the things that we say and how we um teaching the Lord's words. Cause remember these ain't all words. These are the words of Yahweh by Shabbat Shah. So Lord one of you have been edified and with that I want to say Shalom.